Would you believe it? This Grand Archduke of Austria, who lived about 150 years ago, had a very marvellous machine invented for him. This is it. Rather decorative, don't you think? But it's also useful. It's a writing machine. And as you will see, a marvellous piece of work and a great triumph for the old craftsman who made it. The ingenious works of this writing machine are hidden away in the globe and can be opened in this way. Then the ink pot is automatically raised and the pen is dipped in. The letters are actually written with pen and ink. All the movements, such as the offering of the ink, the dipping of the pen, and the writing of the pen on the white paper, are worked by means of a most ingenious mechanism. The most important parts of this extraordinary machine, however, are these pieces of metal, cut with notches like a key. The notches on the edge regulate the curve of movement necessary for the formation of the required letter. When the clockwork is once set in motion, these movements are carried through to the bronze figure, whose arm imitates the motion of a writing hand. Although this invention is certainly one of the first attempts to replace handwriting by machine writing, it can hardly be described as the predecessor of the modern typewriter. Still, the honour of inventing the first typewriter is also claimed by Austria, and here we see it, made in 1865. It is made of wood, but as you see, its general idea follows the line of the modern typewriter. I seem to have gone all scientific with this week's Would You Believe It feature, and now we go over to California to see some experiments with millions and millions of volts at Pasadena. Actually, they are testing insulators for high-power electric lines, which will have to stand wind, rain, snow, sleet and lightning. Now, I've not been asked to give you a full technical description of what it's all about, I am pleased to say, but I'm sure you'll get the general idea that this is a good place to keep away from when these things are happening. I think I'll just leave you to it. <laughs>